Hey guys, so welcome to this video. This video is me starting a brand new journal. This is my second 2020 life journal because I filled up my first one. So this is going to be for October to December and this journal is so cool. It's a Coraline journal. I'll have it linked below, but it's amazing. It has so many stunning illustrations throughout, which I just love. And it's just a lined notebook, but I'm just obsessed with it. And I actually bought it like ages ago and I'm happy to finally be using it. Yes. So so my flip through for my first 2020 life journal will go up hopefully soon. I'm really excited to share that with you all because I just love that journal so much. But first you're getting this video and I'm basically just doing my initial spreads in this journal. So obviously I had to write my name so I just used my stamps. And I still haven't gotten a new stamp pad because that ink is not super opaque. I just haven't wanted to spend the money on it <laughs> because I already have these. But yeah, I don't know if I fully recommend these. Like it's cool if you're going for that sheer look but it's not always the most opaque because it's like shimmery. Anyway, so yeah, that's what I'm using. I got these off Etsy, the set of the different stamps and the ink. But as always, I will try to link as much as I can below. I usually can't link like everything because I just forget where things are from because I have so much stationery, but I try to link as much as possible. Anyway, so yes, 2020 life journal. If you're new here, I basically just use my life journal as like a catch-all journal so I can just do anything in this journal. So I just document memories. I do random journal entries. I, you know, just do random aesthetic pages like I just do anything that I want in this journal so it's definitely my favorite I think because it just encompasses so many different things but anyway so yes the cover page is pretty simple I just use some black paper to use the stamp so I use the silver ink for my title 2020 life journal And then I wrote started and completed. So obviously I started on the 9th of October and when I finished the journal, I'll put that date in. So now I'm just working on my October title page. So instead of gluing in the black paper first, I decided to work on it outside of my journal because the stamp ink was still drying. So I didn't want to flip over the page. Anyway, so I'm using this black piece of paper to do the title and I just wrote October with my white gel pen and then drew a little knife with some blood dripping using my Uni Posca pen. And then I wrote what's your favorite scary movie on a separate piece of paper. And then I already had these horror movie photos prepared. If you saw my October plan with me for my reading journal, I printed these out for my horror movie theme and I didn't use all of them. So I decided to use those images in this spread. That's pretty much it for the October title, I think. Oh, I also added some washi tape and now I think it's pretty much it. <laughs> Okay, 
pager because I also added a bat and a spider. But yeah, that's it for that October title. So I'm just using my glue tape to stick it in. And once again, that's always linked below. I still got questions like where I get things, but usually it's linked below. Anyway, so then on the right page, I am actually writing down like all the Halloween movies I want to watch this October. And I know that it's like already halfway through the month. So I'm sorry this video was supposed to be uploaded earlier, but I've just been really busy. So I actually have already watched some of these movies, but obviously I'll talk about all of them now. Okay, so before I talk about all the movies that I want to watch, I'm using my Fememo printer to print out two of the movies that I want to watch, so the movie posters. And then I also printed out a little clapboard to put in the spread. So yes, movies that I want to watch this Halloween. So I split it up into movies I want to re-watch and movies I want to watch. And actually, sorry, before I get into it, for those who might be waiting for my movie and TV show wrap-up video, where I do my spread for everything that I watched in the month. I actually think because like it's already halfway through the month I think I'm just going to wait until the end of this month and then do like three months so I'll do August, September, October. That will be a lot but anyway so I think that's the plan. Okay so movies to re-watch. Halloween Town obviously a classic. I love Halloween Town and if I have time I'll want to watch like all of them. To be honest I don't really remember the third and fourth. I believe there's four right? I think there's four. I don't really remember the third and fourth. I think I definitely did watch them when I was little but I don't really remember them. I know that the actress from Aquamarine is in it, so that's really cool, but yeah, I don't fully remember, so I really do want to rewatch those. But I did actually rewatch Halloween Town and Halloween Town High, I think, in August. So I have rewatched them pretty recently, but I just love them, and of course, you know, Halloween Town is just a classic. So, yes, Halloween Town. Twitches, probably my favorite Halloween movie. Like, I love, love, love Twitches. Twitches truly is the best movie of all time. <laughs> like, it is so so good and every time I rewatch it I'm just blown away by how amazing it is like I was obsessed with it when I was younger and I'm still obsessed with it now like it is truly just such a good movie it's just the best so of course twitches <laughs> and then Hocus Pocus absolutely love Hocus Pocus another classic so that is of course one I want to rewatch and then The Nightmare Before Christmas again another classic and it's one of my absolute favorite movies so you know of course so then I have some movies to watch so these are all movies that I haven't watched yet so a lot of these I actually got from the channel Possessed by Horror. I've been watching her channel recently and she talks about and reviews different horror movies and she recently, sorry I can't remember her name at the moment, but she recently uploaded a video talking about underrated Halloween movies. So that is where a lot of these movies are from. They're from that recommendation video. Anyway, so Halloween. I actually have never seen the movie Halloween, which is kind of shocking, but yeah, I've never watched it. I don't know why I haven't watched it. I feel like people didn't really talk about it when I was growing up. So anyway, I really want to watch that. Then I want to watch The House is October Built, which I think is a found footage movie. Hell House LLC, Rob Zombie's Halloween, which I believe is like a reimagining of the original Halloween movie. So I'll watch that after Halloween. And then Trick or Treat, Terrifier, Ginger Snaps, May, which is apparently a werewolf movie. Movie, so that makes me excited. Haunt and then 31. So yes, those are the movies. I don't know if I'll be able to watch them or probably not during October, but nonetheless, I still want to watch these movies eventually. So these are the movies that I put on my Halloween to watch list. But actually, I think there are some missing because I want to watch, for example, Paranorman. That is a movie that I want to watch. Apparently that's a really cute classic Halloween movie, but I would love to know your like favorite Halloween movies or movies that you want to watch this Halloween. And yeah, I just always love talking about horror movies and spooky movies. I just love it all. So I would love to hear.
And finally for this spread I added a few doodles so I drew some bats in the corner, I drew a knife, a little ghost, a spider and once again just added a little bit of blood to that knife using <laughs> my uni Fosca pen. Anyway so those are my first spreads for my second 2020 life journal. I'm so excited to continue creating more spreads in this journal and get it filled up because it makes me a bit sad how blank it is. It's like obviously excited but also I just love a full journal like a lot of you probably know <laughs> so I'm excited to see it get filled up and really excited to show you my flip through of my first one so yeah hopefully that will be my next video on this channel so i hope you enjoyed this video if you made it to the end of this video you can put a jack-o-lantern emoji in the comments i hope you're having a good day or night and i'll see you in my next video